power of words. Your words have tremendous amounts of power and value. What does that mean? That the words and the language you speak over yourself and other people can greatly influence the course of their life. It's amazing how easy it can be to speak words of life over people or words of death. It's really cool in the book of Proverbs, it says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. So that means that you so simply have the power to speak life or death over people. And I assume that most of you watching this would like to speak life over people. And it's so easy. It's just amazing how easy it is to uplift someone, to make, to sow a seed of greatness into someone. It can take just a few seconds. So I want to throw out a challenge, a weekly challenge. And that is a, uh, to go out every day for a week and find three people to encourage. It can be so simple. Uh, the other day I went to the gym and I walked in the gym and I just said to myself, okay, how am I going to make three, people's, three other people's lives better today? And I walked in, the front lady at the desk that was folding towels, I saw they were all folded like so perfectly and nicely. And I was like, I was like excuse me, did you fold all these towels? And she's like, yes. And I'm like, wow, that's awesome. You did a great job. <laughs> and just, it's so simple. And she lit up, smiled. Something that she probably does every day but is never recognized for it. And then I saw one of my really good friends. He's a personal trainer and he's really good looking. And, uh, but he seems kind of insecure to me, actually. Uh, I saw him immediately and I'm just thinking like, wow, that is a great looking guy built so well. And, I actually, and so I went up to him and I was like, hey man, excuse me, I was like, when I, when I saw you when I walked in here, I thought I saw like a, a poster board. You, you just looked like almost perfect. And I really did have this thought. And these are all thoughts I, that come naturally to me, but I just, I don't say them. And then there was another guy, an older man that I talk to almost every day I'm in the gym. And I told him like, man, I just want to let you know that every time I see you in the gym, you just look like you have a light shining through you. You're just so approachable and fun and easy to talk to. And th these, that was just so easy. It took not even a minute out of my day, but it may have sowed a seed of greatness into these three people. So it's so easy, guys, just to go out there and train your eye to see the greatness, the amazingness that people have in them. Um, there's another quote from a, the book of Ephesians in the Bible that I wanted to share. It's, uh, it goes, Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such as is good for building up, as fits the occasion, that it may give grace to those who hear. And I interpret that as you can build people up in different ways. You can build people up through words of encouragement, uplifting them, sometimes lifting people up... Um, is constructive criticism, but that can be done in a loving way. But for the sake of this video, I want to focus on just really going out there, showing, letting people know that you recognize their awesomeness. So I challenge you, go out there three times, three, pe three different people a day for a week, look for the greatness in them, show them that you love them, show that you cared, and sow that seed of life.